This is one of the unluckiest accounts ever. Cannabis Chunk. Cannabis Chunk is an extreme one chunk Iron Man account, which means that in each game chunk, I have to complete everything. Alongside ridiculous skilling grinds, this also means getting every single collection log item. Eight months ago, I rolled the Revenant Caves chunk and it took me over five months to complete, using extremely limited gear to kill over 70,000 Revenants. After spending over 1200 hours in the Revenant Caves, I thought I'd never have to go back. However, I was very, very wrong. A couple of weeks ago, Jagex released the elemental rebalancing changes. For me, this is relevant because they added a 50% buff to water spells when attacking lava dragons. As part of this chunk, I need to get the Draconic Visage collection log slot from lava dragons. And so deciding whether to use an Accursed Scepter, water spells, or water spells with the Accursed Scepter is a big decision with long-term knock-on effects to the account. Essentially... Do I need to go back to the Revenants or not? So this is a little test that we're going to be doing to see if using the Scepter with Water Wave is worth it. I think my max hit in this setup is going to be ridiculous, but I am still using Ether. But I will be using it at a slower rate than I was when I was auto-casting. So um, it's going to be interesting to know if this is worth it. I don't think it will be over just using the water staff and not using any ether at all. But this is definitely going to be less ether overall than just the auto casting because the max hit will be higher and the attack rate will be slower. Uh, so it may be worth doing this in conjunction with doing revs for additional ether because this will be faster kills per hour and then I can use that time to get the ether back using... Uh, like by just going to rev so we will see um so i'm going to do this and then i'm going to do a quick test of revenants to see how much ether i get per hour there so uh, a bit of a throwback <laughs> to uh start off this episode but should be good so in five minutes i got eight kills which means that we're getting 96 kills per hour with this method so I don't think it's worth it because the max hit is not 45. The max hit is 40. And that is because it's picking up the uh, elemental spell boost after it's done the damage. No, before it's done the damage to the scepter. Or the other way around. I can't remember. Either way, the, the max hit is 40 instead of 45, which is a bit sad. Um, but what I am going to do is swap that to the charged version and see what the kills per hour is with it like this. And uh, yeah, see how we get on with that, and then decide if it's going to be worth it to use the uh, use the scepter or not. Okay, so with this setup, I got ten kills in six minutes, which is a hundred per hour. So just depends whether I rate using slightly more ether or rate using uh, blood runes as well. Um, I think I think it's kind of much of a muchness to be honest but basically the question is whether is is it worth going to revenants to get ether um to make up 30 kills per hour because I was getting about 70 kills per hour without using uh any ether at all so that's the question that I need to figure out and to do that I need to get a measure on how much ether I get from you know about how much ether i get per hour at the revenants and then we can do some very complicated maths to uh decide whether it's worth it or not um my, my gut feeling is that it's not going to be and that just doing it with a mystic staff at a slightly slower rate is going to be better but I must say, killing these lava dragons this quickly with the Thammer and Scepter does feel very nice. So um, it would be nice if this if this weight is optimal. So I'll give it a go and see where we get to. Oh, we got PK as on us. Get him, boys. Get him, boys. He was not expecting the multi PKing. Get his ass! I got the freeze! Oh, he attacked me, didn't he? I can attack him. 
Let's get him, boys! <laughs> yes! Yes! We got him! <laughs> yes! Oh, we got him! Huge! Huge! <laughs> oh, I think Lava Dragons is going to be very fun. So, this is my first time back in the Revenant Caves for quite a while, and I must say I'm pleasantly surprised by the fact that uh, there are no bots, at least as far as I can tell. And I'll tell you what is very nice, I can use a range potion. So my max hit has gone up from a 34 to what you just saw as a 39. That is massive. Uh, very nostalgic being back here after so long, I must say. Um, and what I'm doing is seeing how much ether I can get. So in my bow, there is 1508. In my bracelet, there was 98. So I'm going to do this for like 10 minutes and just see how much ether I gather in that time, both from bracelets and from uh, bracelets of Ethereum, like grabbing the stuff that's uh, not in there. So yeah, I'm hoping that this will be a lot of ether and I will be able to use the Thamarin Scepter at Lava Dragons because that would be very fun indeed. So, we just finished our first trip at the Revenants, or, you know, our test trip at the Revenants. We did 20 minutes there. Uh, we used 500 charges of our crossbow, and we gained in our bracelet about 500 charges. So, that exchange was pretty much neutral. In our looting bag, though, we have six bracelets of Ethereum. And we have two in our invent. And if we break those down, as I will just show you, you get 250 ether per one. Um, that means that in that 20 minutes, we gained 2,000 ether, ether to put in our collection overall. That's including what we spent on the crossbow and we gained in the bracelet as well. So we netted plus 2,000 ether in 20 minutes, which means if I were to repeat that three times, I'd get 6,000 ether profited in an hour. If I do Lava Dragons using the Thammer and Scepter, um, either with water spells or just using the inbuilt charge staff we're talking on average about 100 hours overall to get the um to get the drop that we want right which is the draconic visage because we're that is a one in ten thousand and we get about 100 kills per hour if i use the water battle staff or the water mystic staff whatever it is uh, with the water weaknesses i'm getting about 70 kills per hour which means to get 10,000, we're talking about 140 to 145 hours so i would save in theory 40 to 45 hours by using the accursed scepter either way uh, which means that i would then have 40 to 45 hours to play with at the revenants that i could then spend getting revenant ether with 40 hours at a rate of 6,000 ether gained per hour that's a positive of 240,000 ether using the scepter at the lava dragons is about whether if i use it charged it's 150,000 uh, that i would use over the 100 hour grind if it um, slightly less than that actually as well it'd probably be more like 140,000 and then if i use it with uh, in conjunction with blood runes it would be about 110 to 120,000 so completely theoretically assuming no deaths at either place we're profiting about 120,000 ether by using the ether at the lava dragons and then using the time saved at the revenants that's massive and then when you throw into that the fact that you are also that i would also be getting uh, all the drops from the revenants in that 40 to 45 hours which includes really useful stuff like u logs it includes magic logs it includes mahogany planks it includes adamant bars rune or rune bars all stuff that will be very very useful in the future i think it's actually better overall to use the accursed scepter at the lava dragons and i don't think it really matters if it's charged or it's for using blood runes i think what i'll do is use it charged because the blood runes can be useful to me in the future for things like the scythe of Viter or the sanguinesti staff or whatever right so 
I think we're gonna we're gonna stick to using the accursed scepter at the lava dragons, which is quite scary, uh, because it feels like I'm doing a dirty thing. But because you know because I've not you know got the pet yet from Vettiana, we could get any other number of things. But I think it's better overall, so we're gonna stick with it. North of Desert is hold on, hold on, lads. Oh my God! We've got an elite clue I can do! Oh my god, this is massive! This is massive, massive news! Oh! Oh god! Oh, what am I doing? Oh no! Um... Right, can I get away? I can just free fight back a little bit, freeze him, and then try and step under. Once my freeze is near an end. <laughs> so I just walked out. Oh, come on. Please land and entangle. Please land and entangle. No, come on. Okay. I think that's it. Is it? Oh, he's frozen me, though. Oh, God. This is not... <laughs> Imagine if I die walking straight out of the, uh, straight out of Ferox Enclave. Um, right, I just, I just need to get an entangle on him without him landing a freeze on me. Come on, okay, he splashed, he splashed. Okay. 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 I, I think this should be it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. As if that just happened. As if that just happened. Oh my god. Well, that'll teach me to be more careful, won't it? <laughs> oh, fuck. Right, got a PK on me. Two PKs on me. Okay, this isn't good. Uh, but I do have the boys around. I believe they should be logging in shortly. Oh, fuck. I'm definitely gonna die. Oh, no. There's one of my, there's one of my mates. Okay, come on. Can we get away? Oh god, I'm getting absolutely right. Oh no, I'm definitely dead. Hopefully he's not got the agility. Oh, fuck's sake. And I'm frozen. Oh, this just isn't good. Hold on. Is he fro- Come on. Yes! Yes! Oh my god, that was so good. That was so good. Oh my god. My friend must have froze him, like, as he went across the agility shortcut, and then he couldn't move. Oh my god, that's so good. Oh, that's like one of the best ones ever. Two on one, and I got away. Well, two on two, I guess, but two on two, and I got away. Oh my god. So good. He must have frozen one of the ones out, like, one of the PKs out of range, and then frozen the other one while I was stood under him. Oh, that's so good. Oh, we just got a dragon pickaxe. And finally, it looks like they've gone back up over one mil GP. So it actually now looks good on the ground again. Because they for a long time, they were just under one mil. So they were green text, which is a bit icky. Uh, but we definitely take the orange text dragon pickaxe. That's nice. I think that is dragon pickaxe number 14. We are still uh, avoiding the Void Waker blades like the plague. Uh, but hopefully we can get one of those or the pet relatively soon. 3,084 kill count at the moment. And there is a, another long bone on this grind. I'm, I'm getting to the point. So I've not had a, a curved bone since 1,000 kill count. Um, so it's been over 2,000 kills. If I get a, another curved bone before I get the pet, now that I'm so dry, I think I'm going to be a lot more angry than I was for the first three that I got. <laughs> so uh we'll take the long bones i suicide bank though so i'm not actually gonna be able to bank that long bone i don't think it's ever going to be relevant for me so i'll probably just bury it 15 prayer xp lovely and there is 3100 kill count we are now but only i think about 160 kills away from being front page vetion and when you bear in mind vetion is a multi-boss and most people probably that are on the front page did it in sort of three or four man teams when it was first released uh we're looking at being like definitely some of the like most dry people ever to try to go for the Vetion pet, at least from Vetion itself and not Calvarian. Uh, 
so yeah, 160 to go into a front page. That's wild. And there is our 15th Skull of Vetti. I feel like they've gone up in value slightly. I feel like maybe some of the bots at Calvarian have been nuked or something. Uh, but at least we're getting some uniques today. It's been a little while till we've got like multiple uniques close together. Uh, so I guess that's nice to have. And uh, we now more than have enough to uh, cover all of our scepters. So yeah. 15th Skull of Vetion. Hopefully the next drop will be something slightly more useful. And with this, we are finally getting our first random in a long while. It gives us some XP. We're getting our first random based level, 36 Slayer. Uh, looks like that's about six or seven and, uh, regular lamps until the next level. So that is not too bad. And we're uh, edging closer and closer to the Terror Dogs, which is the, uh, thing, which is the thing that we're going for just on the off chance that we manage to roll the Abandoned Mine next. Because being able to kill those uh, Terror Dogs here would allow us to get an Enchanted Salve Amulet, which would be very cool to have considering the Revenants and Vetti on are two of the most main pieces of content I have. So that would be pretty neat. Uh, if anyone is logged out near the caves right now, it'd be a great time to log in. Look at it, you chirp. If possible. Oh, here he comes. Oh, I think it's two of them. Fuck. He has one guy on me. Being out of the veteran lad definitely improves things, I will say. Oh, Muse Main's one of mine as well, isn't he? Yes! Yes! Oh god, I've only got like six run energy, so I need them to just not get on me. Don't go to that northwest exit. Keep them in the middle, keep them in the middle. Keep the middle. Yes, 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 yes. I don't think running south is the answer. I think logging out here. Come on. Come on. Easy. Yes! Yes! Oh, we love the boys. Come on, Chirp. Yes! Chirp and Muse Main. Legends. Legends. Oh, yes! Yes, we finally got another Void Waker Blade! 30.9 mil! Oh, that feels so fucking good to get. Look at the state of that. Yes! Finally, another one at 3,119 kills. Oh my god. I had a mild panic attack there when uh, my mate came in. <laughs> Imagine if they were actual PKers. So I'm not risking anything of importance, but if I get another Void Waker or another Ring of the Guards on this trip, I will be risking my mace. So uh, I should probably just dip, but oh, that's so good to get. 30 mil, huge. So with that Void Waker blade added to the Vetion loot tab, we have now three in the bank, which total... Significantly over 90 mil, which is pretty massive. But also with that, the bank value has now hit 1.5 billion GP. Now, obviously, 966 mil of that is in this revs tab. A lot of it in these emblems, a lot of it in these alcables. But the Vetion tab is coming along quite nicely now. 452 mil. That is quite a big lot of value, really, isn't it? Because it's basically all Vetion stuff. Um, the stack's looking juicy, but over 90,000 gold ore is probably the highlight, I would say. And yeah, three Void Waker Blades. So hopefully we can kind of spoon some more, right? And there is our first Dragon 2H that we've had for a little while. Seems like, I mean, how many uniques is that now? Four out of the six uniques we've had today. So uh, hopefully the next one can be the uh, Ring of the Gods. And then after that, we can just get the pet. Get every single unique in one day. That would be nice.
And there is a ring of the gods. We have got every single drop in the last five and a half hours, except the pet. We have got the pickaxe. We have got the ring of the gods. We have got the void waker blade. We have got the D2H. We have got the skull of Vetion. All we need now is the pet to have green logged it in one day. Please. Please. <laughs> I can feel it coming. I can just feel it coming. Please. Oh, you love the double kill. I'm not even in combat. That was sick. I just killed those two dogs without even getting into combat. Oh, that's juice. Imagine imagine getting a hop there, like where a PK hopped in. And I managed to hop away because I didn't even get in combat with the dogs because I killed them so quickly. That was very nice. And there is 93 attack. No combat level with that one. Uh, two more attack levels until we start training our strength all the way up to level 99. So that is going to be very exciting. Nice little invent here with the anglerfish and the gold ore. Uh, it's going to be going to be a white stack of gold ore, I think, before we know it. But uh, I wonder if we'll hit that first or 94 attack. Let's find out. That's what I get for typing. <laughs> Did you die? What? Why did I just spawn in here? I didn't go into the cave. What the hell just happened? What? I didn't go into the cave there, did I? When I hopped, and then I just spawned in the cave. Oh my god. We just got another Void Waker Blade. What is going on today? Two Void Waker Blades in one day. We're finally back, boys. We're so back. Oh my goodness. Blade number two in one day. We are flying at the moment. Hopefully this RNG keeps coming around. As if I've had this many uniques today. All the uniques except the pet and two Void Waker Blades. All in one day. Come on, this has got to be a good omen. This has to be a good omen. I still need about four to, four to be on rate. I could get the, I could, the next four kills could be Void Waker Blades and I wouldn't be on rate. Now I'm stressing because if I get a Void Waker Blade again or a Ring of the Guards, I'm risking my Chain Mace. Got to go for the back to back. You're not risking your Mace, right? No. Mace is the third item though, so if I... If I get another Void Waker Blade, then yeah, I would be. PK is outside, but I really want to get this kill. Oh! Oh my god! You fucking what? What? I just got a fucking back-to-back -back Void Waker Blade! What? I'm literally risking the chain mace right now. Oh my god, right, got protect item on. Just need to die, like, ASAP. What? What just happened? What? Look, literally it says uh, 3157 and I didn't get a drop for 3156 because it's gone to there with Void Waker Blade 2. What? <laughs> what just happened? I just... Sorry. Back to back Void Waker Blades. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the hell just happened? <laughs> As if I got out of there with both of them and the chain mace. Oh my god, I was literally risking my chain mace there briefly. What? That's insane. What? <laughs> Let's see if I went for the back-to-back -back and actually got it. That's madness. That's total madness. 31.1 mil each. Check that in the bank. That's a nice little addition to the tab, isn't it? What? 
<laughs> that might be the maddest RNG I've ever had. What? So it is finally time to break down some more bracelets. So we totally ran out of our stack of ether in the bank. Sad times. Uh, and we've got about 900 bracelets left. So we're down to like, you know, 225,000 ether, which is significantly less than half what we started with. It's actually about a third of what we started with. So hopefully we can wrap up this pet relatively quickly, eh? So I don't know how I managed to miss getting 3,200 kill count exactly, but that is 3,201. So we are but 30 away, I think, from hitting the front page for Vetian. I'm going to need you to cover me on that one, boys, because I am in combat. He's on me. He wants me badly. Get him. How did he kill me? No. What? Oh, I think Vetion just absolutely destroyed me there. I'm pretty sure that was all Vetion DPS. No, that's so bleak. Please kill him. At least get my ether for yourselves. Oh, my God. And with that kill, kill count number 3,231, I am now officially front page for Vetion. If you boot up the Vetion Iron Man scores right now, I am there on the front page. And when you take into consideration the fact that probably a lot of those teams, those people did it in teams... Uh, when these bosses were initially released, when I was in Valiance, which is the top Iron Man PVM clan, a lot of people did these bosses in like trios and such. So, yeah, I am probably very, very, very dry for this pet. Uh, top page at the least, probably more likely top 20, maybe even top 10. So, uh, yeah, that's a pretty wild milestone getting top 25. First page in my first boss that I've unlocked on the account. Why am I like this? Why can't I just spoon something? But yeah, the first boss we've unlocked, we are front page because we're so dry. Brilliant. That's what I do. Just just following in Limpwort's footsteps, I think it's probably fair to say. Oh no, he's fighting back, Duffy. He's definitely going to kill you. Those, those claws are going in the bin. Oh yes! Yes! Oh, that was a good kill. Yeah, that was a sit, to be fair. And there is a ring of the gods. We cannot get the pet, but we now have six rings of the gods. At least we're getting uniques lately, which is good. Uh, if I get any, if I get another ring of the gods or a Void Waker on this chip, again, we will be race risking the chain mace, but... We'll stick with it for now. See what we've got cooking. Bring the gods into the pet in the same trip would be pretty cool. Oh my god, I've got fucking peak air on me. Duffy! No! Fucking died just at the last second. Fuck, the boys were there as well. No! Oh, that's tragic. At least we kept our mace. And here is a relatively big level coming in. Level 90 fletching, which just means five more levels to go until we can fletch the dragon dart, which is our task. We still don't actually have any dragon dart tips, so I do need to uh, head out to um, Zombie Pirates again to get some Laren's keys to get some of those. But we're at least making some good progress on the fletching level. Um, we still have in excess of 15,000 magic logs in the bank. So I think we've got about 92 banks at the moment, but that number is going up every single day. So hopefully these last five won't take too long. Oh, this is fun. Oh my god, of course I get the f If anyone is close by, that would be appreciated. I 
might have got a gap though. Go on. Yeah. <laughs> how did he let me go? What like how did he how did he mess that up so badly? What an epic fail from that man. Oh my goodness. No. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my god, I missed the key. The first time I clicked that, I missed the key and didn't get the hop. Oh. That was a good one. That was a good one. That was a nice one. Oh, look at the loot I've got as well. Got the magic logs out. Huge, huge save there. And with that is kill count number 3,300. So really getting up there now. 3,300. Does that not look like an obscene number next to Vetti on kill count? To me, that just looks ridiculous. Particularly considering the fact that the pet is one in 1,500. Like... Why am I like this? Why does my account just refuse to get drops? So triggering. Oh well. Uh, the 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 loot in the bank is looking absolutely unbelievable though. Um, system update in 2 minutes and 30. So at least I didn't get the pet on 3300 and it get rolled back off the account. So I guess that is that. Yeah. 3300 fatty on kill count. Mad times. Well I've just logged in. Oh my god, look, I can... Can I stand where the crevice is? No, I can't. So the crevice would be right there. But we've rendered in like this for some reason. <laughs> That's just annoying. And there is a dragon pickaxe. At least they are still over that one mil, so it looks like they have officially recovered. That is dragon pickaxe number 15. Oh my goodness. Why can we not just get the pet? 3,311 kill count. Nice to get it shouted out in the chat to the boys. 15 dragon pickaxes though. That's half an invent. Imagine if I get to a full invent. That would be savage. So, as it turns out, Wednesday morning is the best time to kill Vetion. Because I've been in this world killing Vetion exclusively for an hour and ten minutes. Which means I haven't even seen a PKer. For an hour and ten minutes. So yeah. Wednesday mornings slash Wednesday early afternoons. Definitely the time to go out and get get some vetting on kills. If ever you want to uh if ever you want to. Which I wouldn't recommend because well it was fun to start off with. <laughs> Bit tedious now, but we'll get there. So we've got a kill coming up that quite a lot of people in the kick chat think is going to be the one. And they think it's going to be the one because it is three thousand three hundred and thirty-three. And sadly, the kick chat were very wrong. So we are going past 3,333. And there is a PKer outside, so we're going to hop away from him. <laughs> but there is 3,333 kill count onwards and upwards. One hour and 20 minutes in one world, by the way. So we're flying. Saw a PKer on the other account and logged out straight away. <laughs> Ah, oh, of course we spawn on the other side. Fuck's sake. Spawn on the other side with no run energy. Fun stuff. Absolutely jinx yourself. Immediate. Uh, right, I need you to hop to world 330, if anyone is there. Hop to 330 and go to the escape caves. And go to the north e like the northeast escape cave. If you're there, chirp. <laughs> Please tell me you're there, chirp. <laughs> P8's gone. What were the odds of that? I hopped into another PK here. Oh, f oh, yes, chirp's there. Yes, chirp. Yes. <laughs> well, there's, uh, there's 10 mil in the cave if you want it, basically. <laughs> I can't pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, got the hop away on that one, luckily. Oh, 
If someone wants 20 mil, they need to hop in, by the way. <laughs> oh, they're both in. Who's going to get it? Oh, P8 definitely got that. <laughs> I didn't even see it there for so long. <laughs> and there is 94 attack. No combat level again. One more attack level until we're going back to strength and getting what will likely be our next 99 unless we, uh, you know, can pull our finger out and actually get the pet. Uh, but there is 94 attack. God, those melees are getting good. And there is yet another long bone at 3398. Now, just to upset some people, we're going to bury that. 15 prayer XP. More useful to us than the construction XP. So uh, that goes in a collection log at least, even if we don't bank it. <laughs> Ah, uh, whole team showed up and still couldn't get me. Unlucky, you can see the dot on the map. <laughs> Unlucky, bitch. Hope they enjoy going through the escape caves. You love to see that. You love to see PKs wasting their time like they waste so much of mine. Hi, Duffy. So, who's paying attention to the stream then? Hey, looks like our boy Tame is playing attention to the stream. I <laughs> uh, didn't say it out loud because I wanted to see who was watching. <laughs> Duffy is the boy. Honestly, hanging out at the Vetion layer is a 10 out of 10 way to make money. Right, this has literally... Never happened before. I have been doing Vetion solidly for long enough that I have been in the same world without hopping for four hours. I haven't stopped doing Vetion that whole time. There has just not been any PKers in this world now for four hours. <laughs> that is mad. What a successful day this has been. I don't think I've actually died today either. Four hours of solid Vetion without any PKers. What am I? What was I moaning about when I first got this chunk? And I was dying all the time. Four hours with no PKs. That's nuts. Go on, claw smack him out. Go on. See ya. Get wrecked. Things you love to see. <laughs> yes, boys. You see? And this is exactly why we bring the PK gang. And there is 3,500 kill count of Vetion. Still no pet, which is criminal. After going 70,000 dry at the Revenants to now also be going insanely dry at Vetion, it makes me feel slightly sick. Um, but onwards and upwards we go. We never stop. We never stop. We keep going. We never burn out. We keep going. Let's get it on the next kill, please. <laughs> My mental can't take it anymore. And there is a dragon pickaxe. There is... There, what, what one is that? Number 16, I think. <laughs> Such a shame there are only one mil instead of 10 mil these days. Oh, 16 dragon pickaxes, no pet, things you love to see. Okay, don't, don't spec him, don't spec him, don't spec him. Go on, go on, log out, log out, log out. Okay, we've got it. Hey, and that is why the lava dragon escapes are quite good, because I am, like, active in them. Love that. Oh, the entangle escapes are so, so nice. So, turns out the Rune Square Shield is a 1 in 2,731 from the Lava Dragon. So, not as rare as the Visage, but definitely a rare drop. So, um, if we keep getting any more of those weird drops, then I guess they'll add up to a Lava, uh, to a Draconic Visage drop rate over time. Yeah. 
Yeah, take that boy out. Yes! Yes, we love to see that, Duffy. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm loving it. Loving it. <laughs> oh, fuck. This ain't good. Right, we might need to leave this world, I think. <laughs> oh, hello. We got PK on us, boys. He does not know what he's just stepped into. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> I killed him. It was me. I killed him. Yes. I got the killing blow. That was huge. <laughs> he does not know what he just stepped into. Look at this over here. <laughs> He probably thought it was just me. That's so funny. And there is another Void Waker Blade on the account at 3,540 kill count. That is Void Waker Blade number seven. Nice to add to the bank value. Seems like they're going down a little bit. They were definitely over 30 mil for a while. Now it's down to 25 mil. But that is seven Void Waker Blades. What even is that? <laughs> oh, come on. Just give me the pet soon, please. At least I'm getting slightly more back on rate with the Void Waker Blades. We've had five in 540 kill count. So, it's quite interesting. We've got a PK battle going on right now between uh, Bouncer Gang and two fellas that have almost exactly the same name. And um, it's quite fun to watch. I feel like I might stay. I'm also relatively confident that the boys are going to win. Uh, no one seems too bothered about getting on to me. So, uh, we'll just stick with it. I'm almost tempted to skull up, then I'd have my mason. Okay, there's one of them down. See, the boys are goated. The other one's legged it. Ah, oh, it's quite fun watching the P. I wish I wish that could happen more often. That I could watch the fights happening in the layer. It's rather exciting. They've logged in, boys. Boys, I'm gonna need you now. I really want to keep this gold ore. Boys, oh, I've got no fucking prayer either. Fuck, I'm so fucked. Got no prayer, this is not good. Oh no, I need to make it to the fucking escape cave before I die. Please, please, please. No! They're gonna get my fucking shit. Oh my oh my god, oh my god, I need to go before the fucking poison timer. Come on! Come on! No, you fuck! No! Ah! Oh no, I must have been like a tick off. No. Oh. 675 gold ore in the bin on a fucking poison timer. No. Oh, that was literally so close. Oh, go on. Give me a baguette. Oh, go on. Stale baguette right now, please. Oh my god. <laughs> We just got the stale baguette on stream. Look what! <laughs> oh my god, we may be totally, we may be totally incapable of getting. <laughs> we may be totally incapable of getting a betty on pet, but we can get the stale baguette. Oh my god, what is that? In the wilderness as well, so I was risking it. That's so funny. Stale baguette, signed, sealed, and delivered. That is incredible. Oh my goodness. Right, I'm going to have to put that in there because that is just juice. As if we just got the stale baguette. And do you know what's the saddest part about that? Is I've not even finished the random event log because I spend so much time in the wilderness. Like, because I am so spend so much time in the wilderness, I don't get these events like the mime and the beekeeper that teleport you away. I only get, like, lamps and the mysterious old man and stuff. So I has somehow don't have the random event logs done, and I've got a stale baguette, and a hundred days game time. You fucking what? I can't believe that just happened! <laughs> this may very well be one of the best invents of loot I have ever got. 
20 Sanfu Serum, 675 Gold Ore, 450 Magic Logs, 225 Super Combust, and 10 Super Stores with some Death Runes chucked in. That is a pretty giga invent, if I do say so myself. And there is 3,650 kills, which means if I'd done one Veti on a kill per day, uh, we'd have been looking at 10 years to get to this kill count, and we still wouldn't have the pet. So, uh, pretty dry, considering the rate is 1 in 1,500, but, you know, onwards and upwards. Oh, fuck. No! Boys! Where the fuck did this guy come from? Come on. No, he's got the bolt distance on me. Okay, I think this guy might only have bolts, does he? Okay, if this guy doesn't have freezes... Oh, fuck. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh my god, the run energy's out. Yes! Yes! <laughs> I don't even know how I did that. Oh my god, my heart is going. Oh my god, see ya, dickhead. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wow, right. What an escape that was. Incredible stuff. Oh my god. So, the reason that that escape was so important and why I reacted as happily as I did is that with that 675 gold ore, we have finally hit a white stack of gold ore. 100,000 gold. That is 2.25 million smithing XP right there. And when teamed up with our Adi bars and our rune bars and our rune ore, Suddenly, we've got quite a decent bit of smithing XP banked, but that looks very nice having the four white stacks in a row. That is mega. Love that. Piss off, Rick Turpentine. Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> got the escape, luckily. How rare is that? Sealed left half from Lava Dragons. That's definitely going to be rarer than the Visage, isn't it? No Ring of Wealth. Oh my god, what is the rate on that? That's going to make me feel sick when I find out. According to the stream chat, the rate on getting a shield left half from Lava Dragons is 1 in 10,388. So it is exactly the same, if not slightly rarer, than the Draconic Visage. And of course, we got the shield left half that we already have. Not the Draconic Visage that we desperately need. Brilliant. Uh, if, if, there's, if there's ever been more Canafus Chunk RNG than that, I can't remember it. Oh, there are 69 defense. And 113 combat. Things that you love to see. Uh, one more defense level until you hit level 70, which actually feels like a proper defense level, eh? Come on, then. Oh, and there is another Void Waker Blade. 28.1 mil. That is our eighth Void Waker Blade. Oh my goodness. Oh, and there's Duffy coming to sort me out. So if I die now, I still protect my chain race. But if I get one more either Ring of the Gods or Void Waker Blade, I will officially be risking the chain race. I literally completely missed it. But I just got 95 attack and 1300 total, which means I'm swapping to strength now to get 99 strength. And also, with 1,300 total, we are only 200 levels away from unlocking 
the last man standing grind and 1000 last man standing wins for the cape that would be brutal so hopefully we don't get anything that's going to trigger that anytime soon but yeah we're moving on to strength now and we're going to get 99 so that'll probably be our next 99 our third one and there is our eighth void waker blade entering the bank total bank value now 1.69 bill oh plus this stuff so probably actually 1.7 bill that is kind of crazy the stack of void waker blades is worth 225 mil so nearly a quarter bill in pure void waker blades that's quite wild and there is 10,000 magic uh, magic dragon bones that is quite wild uh, that is 2.8 mil prayer XP if I cash it in at the Acto Funtus. Wow. Right, I just hopped away from a whole bunch of PKers and then accidentally crashed this guy in the new world that I hopped to. Uh, but we are about to hit 3,700 kill count without the pet. 2,200 over rate. Not even seen a pet for someone else in the room hopefully hopefully soon before 4000 surely before 4000 oh no that's just criminal uh, right i just want to point out i did not tell the boys to do that <laughs> oh no i feel bad uh i guess i can solo now Oh, Agri watching again. Oh, just too late, Dylan. Unlucky. <laughs> you got to be paying attention to the stream. You've got to be paying attention. And there is another Void Waker Blade. At least we're getting uh, at least we're getting some RNG on the Void Waker blades. Twenty nine point nine mil they're up to as well. Very nice. Uh, if we get another high value item on this trip, we will be risking the Vigora's Chain Mace. But surely we can't get back to back Void Waker blades again, can we? Or can we? And here is the ninth Void Waker Blade in the bank. That tab is now looking absolutely outrageous. How much are the Void Waker Blades worth? 269 mil. That is madness. That is mad. That top row there, those five item stacks, that looks crazy. And with that kill count, we are hitting 3,800 kills at Vetion without the pet. That is over two and a half times dry of the rate again. Um, we are under 200,000 ether now, which bearing in mind we left the Revenant Caves with over 700,000. Being under 200,000 is quite scary, and we are technically... No closer to getting the pet than we were on the first kill count. So that is quite rough. Uh, we also have the Lava Dragon Draconic Visage uh, that we need to get with that ether as well. So I think it's pretty safe to say we are definitely going to run out of ether before we get to the next chunk, which is rough. But there's nothing I can do except carry on. I get a kill with about 60 ether now. It basically takes about 60 hits of the mace to get a kill. Uh, so in an absolute best case scenario, we have about 3,000 more Vetion kills worth of ether. That's assuming zero deaths, which is very unlikely. So yeah, we're probably looking at around 6,000 kill count um, that I'm going to run out. So hopefully we can get the pet before then, surely. That better have not cost me a ether. It did! Oh my god! As if that just cost me an ether. That's a joke. <laughs> At least we get a lamp for it. Let's chuck that on Slayer. 
And we're getting closer to level 40. And there is a dragon pickaxe number 17. At least it's still over a mil. I will take those as long as they are still orange text on the floor. When they go when they're green text, it is an incredibly bleak day. Um at least they look very nice in the ground. 17 of them now. I wonder if I'll get to a full invent for the pet. Right, huge team outside. What is the best plan? I think stay out of combat and hop. May as well just try and get the kill at this point. Right, if we get the pet now. No pet. But we will hop. Yes, got it! Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! Yes! Oh, that was good for me. That was very, very solid indeed. See ya. Look at all the loot I had on me as well. Oh my god. Oh! That was extremely good. Whew. Right, are we going to get the PVM death to get away? Hopefully. Come on, don't anyone hop in and get on me. Yes, there we go. There we go. Keep all that loot. So good. Whew. 100 days gameplay. And that should be a collection log slot. Yay, there is our beekeeper's hat. Look at that bad boy. Makes me look a stormtrooper. But if we go on the random log now. Uh, random events. We now only need mime events to finish the log because we have got the stale baguette. Savage from me. So it has been brought to my attention that if you use these two prayers here, the level, the like the low level prayers, you drain your, all your prayers. So I'd use 75 prayer points in half an hour. So it's basically no prayer drain. So I'm going to try and do a trip completely without prayer flicking, just using these prayers. Apparently Jagex just brought down the prayer use of these uh these first ones. So I'm going to see how good they are, see how fast the kills are, see if they feel any different, and then also just do no prayer flicking, because I feel like that would be quite fun. Uh, after doing, you know, nearly 4,000 kills, one tick flicking the whole time. Right, so we just did a whole kill, and we used 30 prayer points overall, and I forgot to turn off um, Protect. Protect melee after the dogs, both both phases. So safe to say it's very, very good for prayer pots. I'm now going to try the tier 2 ones and see how much prayer I use and how quick it is as well. See if maybe even that's worth using. Oh my god, it finally happened. Three gold ore drops in one trip. 2,025 gold ore in one trip. Oh my god, that right there is 45,000 smithing XP. What in the hell? That's crazy. And we successfully made it back to the bank with our 2,000 gold ore. Stick that in, up to 115,000 of it. That is like well over 2.5 mil smithing XP now. That's crazy. Add that into this. Uh, this stuff here, the Addy Bars mostly, and then the Runor. We've got like over 85 banked. That is nuts. Why do I not have RNG like this guy? One Kriara kill count. <laughs> and he's got that pet. Well, that's, why can't that happen to me? Fuck's sake. So... After 4,000 kill count at Vetion, I've settled on a new method with prayer. Rather than doing prayer flicking with ultimate strength and incredible reflexes, we're going to be not prayer flicking with superhuman strength and improved reflexes. Our max hit has only gone down by one, and we're relatively accurate on Vetion anyway with this mate. So as you can see, I can still hit 42s. So... Yeah, after 4,000 kill count, I'm going to admit I was wrong. I'm going to admit prayer flicking was not the best thing to be doing that whole time. 250 hours. And I'm going to be doing this instead. So kills are down in speed by about 3 or 4%. But realistically, over the like long run, that's like... You know, I'll, I'll lose like half an hour every every 100 hours or something like that. So it's really nothing... And it's a lot more relaxed, so my brain is 
doing a better job of staying, you know, aware and awake. Um, I think doing doing all the one tick flicking was uh, hurting the mental a bit. So nice to be able to just kick back and relax a little bit now. Right. So this is why using the prayers like this is so much better after this whole time. So I've used seven doses of restore. I've got basically full prayer and I've done four kills on seven doses of prayer. Well, I I've wasted so many super restores. <laughs> So many super stars. I'm so depressed. No. <laughs> and there is 97 strength. 1.1 mil XP until 98. Just got to keep going. I think we probably will end up getting 99 in this chunk, which is crazy. I think we started, what, what did we start this chunk at? Like 70 strength or something. That's nuts. And this is a big moment for the account. 4,000 Veteon kills. Oh my, this try again. Pet rate is 1 in 1500. And we just hit 4,000. I'm actually like in shock at how dry I always manage to go. But there is 4,000 kill count at Vetian. And we keep going. Right. And here is the total loot from 4,001 kills at Vetian. Some absolutely ridiculous stacks of items. We've obviously got our uniques. Our Void Waker Blade number went up massively in this video. Up to 9 now. 240 mils. So they've gone down a little bit, but still, that is a fat stack. Uh, over 10,000 Dragon Bones. That is 3 million Prayer XP. 115,000 Gold Ore. That is 2.5 million Smithing XP. Uh, Oak Planks. That is, what, uh, nearly 3.8 mil Construction XP. And then, obviously, 23,000 Super Compost. Useful one day massive herb lore secondaries here up to 20,000 magic logs again 21,000 and the white stacks and the runes will be useful one day as well decent little mage gear setups as well that we can just lose in the wilderness no worries in the future so that will be pretty nice um 2200 Sanfu Serums. How much is that worth? 53 mil in Sanfu Serums alone. That will be massive one day if we get anything like Scorpia or Nightmare or anything like that just a truly insane loot tab, it has to be said. I am live right now, so if you want to see more Canafish Chunk, PK shenanigans, epic escapes, and be there live when I finally break the insane dry streak, come and join me over at kick.com forward slash FreyRS.